Agriculture is in my blood. My ancestors were farmers. My grandma had an immense love for the farm, and she taught me all I knew about cultural practices in our small tropical farm. Obviously, she made an impact in my life, and I built up my career in agriculture. I chose to work in agriculture because from a young age, my parents instilled in me a love of this industry that I cannot ignore. I love working for, with animals, I love caring for the land, and I love the strong sense of community that agriculture has. I really enjoy that in my job, I get to help farmers feed the world every single day. You know, going through college and even upon graduation, I knew that I wanted to collaborate with growers and just help contribute to their successful businesses. But until I accepted my current role, I didn't really know what that looked like. And so one of the things that I truly love about my job is the many different hats that I get to wear in day in and day out. So some days I may start out as a data analyst. Other days I may start out as a coach, whether that be with our field personnel or our growers. And other days I just get to be the doer, you know, the one that's boots on the ground, in the field, looking at our crops and kind of solving the problems that we may be facing that day. I grew up on a farm in northeastern Wisconsin, a small dairy farm, where my dad and my cousin farmed together from the day that they were born. These guys instilled in me a sense of loyalty and respect and trust in people. And one of the one of the things that drives me to do what I do out in the field every day is to help other people. And that's one of the things that I really learned from them. So as we look around, as we walk fields, as we dig roots, as we look at populations and planters and everything else that goes in between that and the harvest, really we're targeting helping other people be successful day in and day out. And so all in all, um, I think what I truly love about this industry is the relationships that I get to build along the way and just the many different individuals that I get to collaborate with day in and day out. Um, I get to see a lot of different operations and, you know, in some way, shape or form, I get to help contribute to that and um, work alongside these growers as our business partners. And all the while, I also get to learn at the same time. And so that is why I truly love the agriculture industry. If I can impact one person's life a day, a week, a year, how much does that help change the world? I found in my life that it's not about choosing something. Sometimes something spectacular chooses you. And if I look back in my life, you know, I grew up on a farm, so everybody just assumed that that's where I would end up is working in agriculture. But I'll tell you, after I went through high school and started to think about what I wanted to do in college, I, I chose to maybe possibly go away from agriculture a little bit. So I ended up working in agriculture by blind luck. I grew up in a suburban town, so I really had no exposure to agriculture, and I really just never put much thought into how much work um, is behind getting food into the grocery stores. Did I grow up in agriculture? Yes, but I had the choice to walk away from it. But once I had that opportunity to try something different and as I was going through my college, I realized that, you know, that, that bug, that agricultural bug, it had bit me. When I was in college, I applied for an ag internship and that kind of changed the course of direction I had for my career. And I decided to change my major to agriculture and, um, just it was something that I really 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 enjoyed and became very passionate about and just continued to um, pursue working in this field. Then the agricultural bug really came through and, and showed me that that was who I was and there was no hiding it there was no running away from it it was be who you are and try not to be somebody that you're not. And so in a way, agriculture chose me. One of the reasons I chose to work in agriculture was because I thought it would be a natural fit. So my dad raised row crops and had sheep for livestock in Northern Iowa. And when I was in college, I actually met my husband who's a farmer down here in Southern Iowa. Uh, right now, we're getting the tractor and wagon ready to start harvest. But as I was getting out of college and starting to look for jobs, I looked in the agricultural sector because I wanted to continue the tradition and see how I could help further the agricultural sector. 
Depuis que, depuis que je suis tout jeune, euh, au moins depuis mon adolescence, j'ai toujours voulu être l'agronome qui se promène dans les champs et qui vient donner les recommandations à mon père par la suite. Et voilà ce que je suis devenue aujourd'hui aussi. Euh, sauf qu'au lieu de marcher des champs de céréales, de maïs, bien, je marche des champs de producteurs de légumes, euh, des fruits, des vergers, des champs de pommes de terre, de carottes, de laitues, de céleri. C'est tout à fait passionnant. I still remember the day I told her that I was selected to lead the research center in Hawaii, working with corn and soybeans. She grabbed her head and said, oh my God, there you are, my farmer.